Vyasa Savitri The story of Savitri, narrated by Rishi Markandeya to Yudhishthira, appears as a minor episode or upakhyana in seven cantos of the Book of the Forest in the Mahabharata. The immediate purpose of the narration seems to be the alleviation of grief of the eldest of the Pandavas, afflicted as he was by the sad, helpless split of his brothers and more, so by the split of their common wife Draupadi, the virtuous daughter of Drupada, the king of Panchala Desh, born in the purity of a sacrificial flame and was radiant and beautiful like a damsel who had come from the city of the gods. Warrior princes and heroes from far and near lands were attracted by her bewitching charm. But among the suitors who had come to claim her hand only, Arjuna in the shining valor could win her. Noble as she was, she always remained chaste and beautiful and faithful in her conduct. She was learned and intelligent. She observed and sacred vows. She respected the elders and the wives. And she was a lady of great determination. Fate had in many ways humiliated her in life and its writ enormity she had to suffer almost without end. The cousins of the Pandavas were only instruments in that cruel working. Even after the 18-day war, all her five sons, one each from her five husbands, were traitorously buttered by Ashwatthama. But she, by her sacrifices for her righteous cause, was going to prove for the Pandavas a savior and fortune bringer. Issues far deeper than battles and kingdoms were involved in which human merits and misdemeanors were superficialities and this Draupadi was a player who had accepted her lot with the strength of will that is born of a flaming life instinct. Eventually, the overmastering agents of evil and falsehood were exterminated and the rule of her fair and the rule of fair law established. Two, at a very high price, if she had emerged from the fire altar as is said to be, it is in that the past had to be consumed. The old karmas of ages and all the sanskars put to flame. The prince's sufferings were therefore piogantly. Characteristics of the great upheals and that shake up a society on the eve of a coming era. In its new yoga, the new world order was unshared in. Rishi Markandeya holds the same promise, perhaps even a more splendid promise. In the Savitri example, he prefers to give to Yudhishthira, the prince of Madra, King Ashwapati's daughter, had suffered greatly for her husband's sake and had won noble, satisfying bones, including the exceptional bull of Satyavan's life. From Yama, the king father lord himself, occurred symbolically, the god became the sun bright, giver of immortality to the soul of man on the earth.